Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. Guess what? I'm in London, United Kingdom. I'm here on business to work on uh, lean manufacturing or Toyota production system projects. As you know, that's what I do for a living. And would you believe I've been to Europe more than 100 times, always on business. But today I do have a bit of a free time. I literally just arrived a few hours ago. And what I thought I should do is do a bit of a car spotting here in London to see if we can find some interesting and unique cars that are not sold in North America. Why don't you join me as I walk around here in London to see if we can find some cool cars. Let's go for a walk. So right off the bat, I see a Toyota Avensis, which is a Europe only Toyota sedan. This is an older model, so nothing too interesting so far. Lots of Land Rovers, of course, because that's their head office here in the uh, UK. Uh, and then the usual BMWs, Audis, and Volkswagen. So nothing super interesting yet. Let's keep on looking around, see what else we can find. Okay, I found something really unique. Definitely not sold in North America. The new Honda E. This is a super cute, funky electric vehicle from a Honda that just came out. It doesn't even have an actual rear view mirror for the outside. It's got the camera and a cool looking interior as well. I know it's hard to see with the reflection right now. This person is charging it right now, but look at that. Isn't that really, really nifty? Uh, I don't know what to say except this is very cutesy looking. Kind of like what Mini used to be when it first came out. I'm surprised to find it here because this is pretty rare. Uh, it's definitely not coming to North America, but who knows, something similar might come. This is too small for North American market, but flush door handles, uh, interesting looking design for the wheels, um, and the back too. It's like a mirror image of the front. The back almost looks like the front. And uh, this is definitely perhaps the coolest car I've seen so far. Uh, yeah, this is uh, quite rare. I'm surprised to find one on the street. Okay, here's a really interesting car. This is called the Bristol. It looks like uh, kind of an older Aston Martin design, but it's uh, obviously vintage and it's in excellent shape. It looks absolutely fantastic in this uh, dark gray. Uh, wow, this is in great condition. I don't know too much about this vehicle. Do you guys know anything about this brand? Even the inside is really cool and a beautiful, beautiful design. Once again, it looks something like uh, what you see in a James Bond movie, but it's pretty unique. Really a super long hood and uh, absolutely amazing in this uh, London backdrop. So we are beginning to see some interesting cars now. Uh, BMWs and Mercedes are everywhere, but uh, here is a Peugeot, which haven't uh, been sold in North America for a very long time. This is a 3008 model, I believe, uh, an SUV style, looks pretty cool. They always had a really good design, but it just never sold well in North America. There was lots of talks about maybe Peugeot coming back, but I really doubt that. It's a brand that I don't think will do very well in North America because of the, um, the reputation that it built over the years for uh, problems on the road. So uh, most likely it's not coming back. Another brand here, not sold in North America, is MG. Yeah, they do make car here. Another small crossover type car. This is one of the car sharing program Zipcar. And uh, it's very new. It's not a new model, but um, kind of cool, cool looking as well. This is another brand that will likely not come to North America. So uh, right here we have MG and a Peugeot. Let's keep on looking to see what else I can find. What else do we have here? Look at this. The Toyota Ego is also here. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. This is the tiny, tiny Toyota car that is definitely not sold in North America, nor would it ever hit North American market. It's a tiny vehicle uh, that is perfect for Europe and places like this. Um, and they have a slightly newer version of this now, facelifted recently. Also very cute looking and a very different design from 
all the other cars that you see. And here's the Ford Ranger, which isn't new because we have them here too, but it looks gigantic when you see them in Europe because we don't see big cars over here. Uh, we all love big trucks and SUV in North America, but in Europe, they're happy with a smaller fuel efficient vehicle. So when you see a midsize truck, it looks gigantic on the street. This is a cool design though. I haven't seen this. I don't know if it's an aftermarket. I don't think so. It's got the sliding uh, tonal cover and a lockable cover. It's a mountain top. I don't know if it's an aftermarket. It looks like it's aftermarket, but this whole design looks really cool. That's clearly not aftermarket. Uh, and we don't get that in our Ford Ranger here in North America. This one is called the Wild Track. It looks pretty new. And once again, good to see a truck once in a while. I guess everything is fashionable in London. Look at this BMW 6 Series with a purple headlight. That's quite funny. By the way, here in Europe, people don't like putting labels on their cars. They often take off the actual model name, the engine, all that stuff. They want to be as playing as possible that is often the case whereas in North America we love putting all kinds of emblems so very different the philosophy here so I'm still looking for more cool cars but in the meantime I have noticed that there are a lot of Mitsubishi vehicles here I think mainly because they were one of the very first to come up with a plug-in hybrid and so I have seen so far more Mitsubishi um, plug-in hybrid Outlander than Toyota vehicles but here's a cool one. Here is a DS7. A DS is a French manufacturer of luxury vehicles. They're not very well known outside Europe, um, but they have been making some of the best looking vehicles that I've seen. And they have a really cool design in the front, very intricate pattern on the grill. Even the logo is very unique. And uh, I wish this is something that they will bring to North America because they make uh, a very sleek looking crossovers like this one even the interior is quite futuristic and uh, very up-to-date something that uh, I think French uh, manufacturers do well when it comes to design and here's a uh, more of a mainstream vehicle but still not sold in North America this is the Audi Q2 the small crossover smaller than Q3 we don't get this as well in North America but it's actually a very well-sized vehicle, one that should do well uh, if they were to bring it, but uh, Audi doesn't uh, bring all of their vehicles to North America as well. But I think it's one of the better looking vehicles and inside looks very much like an Audi uh, A3 design, uh, which is based on. So some cool looking cars coming up. Let's see if I can find some more. Mercedes is very strong here in Europe and you see a lot of vans like this. This one is kind of a converted to a taxi format. Uh, but lots of cargo and a passenger vans that are not sold in North America. They're called multi-purpose vehicles or MPVs. Uh, but that designation are no longer used in North America. And uh, therefore uh, we don't see these vans anymore. No one buys minivans as you know. So let's keep on looking. There's some more cars coming up here. What else can I find? What is this? Some kind of crazy Batmobile? No, I think it's a road repair truck. It looks outrageously parked in the middle of a street here. But not much else interesting coming up. So maybe I'll sign off for now. Until tomorrow, I'll look for more cool cars here in London, UK. Talk to you guys very soon. Please stay in touch.